Hello again, everyone. It's awesome to be back with part four. I'm having a blast in spite of everything that went wrong last time, including the, uh, well, the not so lonely anymore graveyard. So I have been getting uh, preps done off camera, and I figured just it'd be a little bit faster that way. And thankfully, I was able to buy items on this chapter. I didn't think that I was, but apparently, you can buy from the uh, pre-chapter prep screen. And I've decided to bench Vanessa. As much fun as I am having with uh, dunking on her, I feel like she's not really contributing much, and this chapter just doesn't have much for flyer utility. And uh, Garcia is finally back in the game. He's been really absent for a while now. And I've also decided I'm going to start rotating saves because I just really felt bad about that missing chapter. Like, I saved after the uh, chapter ended. And then, like, almost immediately afterwards, I was like, you know what, I should have just reset. I mean, I know it kind of violates the spirit of the Iron Man, but I just don't like having, like, a bunch of missing footage on this. And, uh, I, I, it got to the point where I actually considered, like, very quickly restarting the entire game and playing up to that point to record that chapter, and then I was like, well, no, that's, that's an even worse decision than the missing chapter. Like, that's just not... Oh, I just missed a 90%. Lovely. Lovely start to the chapter. Yeah, I, uh... So, I think in the future, if I hit another technical problem, I'm just going to take the reset, and I hope people understand. Like, I'm very, 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 very new to this. So, there are going to be some technical problems. Hopefully not to the point where I'm missing an entire chapter, because I am a fool who mutes himself. But, uh, yeah, I think that's just the best thing I can come up with. I think rotating saves, and then, uh, if anything goes wrong, I'll just hope people understand. But, I feel like I should restate that how happy I am with just how everything is going with this. Like, I was in the middle of saying, like, how excited I am about 100 views last time, and then everything started going wrong. Everything. And, uh, I actually recorded it, like, I had it recorded on the 5X chapter that was muted. Like, I had this whole rant. There's the gang that you guys didn't get to see because I was muted. And, um, yeah, I, I went on a whole rant during 5X about, like, oh, everything's going so well, I'm so happy. And then, uh, it didn't get recorded, and then I started to say it again. And, well, uh, then loot died. And then I just completely lost my train of thought, and the rest of the chapter I was just a bumbling mess. Oh man, these first few turns with this group are just so intense. Like, I'm pretty sure reinforcements come from right behind them very quickly after this. So you have to move very quickly to get things done on this chapter, and I'm not looking forward to this. This was another chapter that I was kind of dreading. Along with, a. Uh, the awful spider map and the that defend chapter in Reeve at the end of the game with uh, Lara Shell's dad and whatnot. That chapter is just a menace too, and I will lose numerous characters on it. So look forward to that in like a month when I get there. But yeah, I just anybody who has given this any amount of their time, I appreciate it so much, and. I mean, any like, or subscribe, or share, or whatever, you know, all that stuff that everybody, like, always talks about, is just, like, it means the world to me, and I'm having so much fun with this run, in spite of my uh, inexperience really showing itself, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much to anybody who has watched this, and on any level, even if you just pop it open in the background, or even if you just watch for, a, like, two minutes, and then close the window, because I am rambling about something or another, like Macy's, which which does exist, by the way. I looked that up after the episode. Macy's is still a thing, and I was just, like, mind-blown. Eh. Wasn't a good risk, but... This could go really bad if I miss this. Okay, that's fine. That, uh, that Miramadon is really kind of scaring me. Okay. Can Boulder take? Yeah. 
I probably didn't need to take drop, but I felt like I would just play it a little bit safe. I'm very in uh, safety mode for now. Ooh. That's a little bit more damage than I was hoping for. My Ford got some really good level ups during that 5x chapter. Did I not equip the jab? I thought I did. Ooh, whoops. Great start. I'm doing great. <laughs> I traded him the jab, and I didn't equip it. I am just on my game right now. Okay. I don't think Sacred Stones has same turn reinforcements, and that might be, like, statements made right before disaster. Awesome, good job, Ford. But, uh, I think I should have, like, a turn or so as a buffer window before things really just go south. And they go south fast on this chapter if you don't move. I seen it happen, and uh, I don't want it to happen again, because uh, that loot chapter... Whew. I feel like I'm talking more about the loot death than the Franz death, and I feel kind of bad for that, because my Franz was objectively doing better than loot. But uh, I just, I like loot more, and I felt really bad when she died. Same range, love it, great. I'm gonna try to just stabilize first. I think that the uh, the better play on this is to split up from the get-go, but I think it, uh, I think in my case I would rather have my groups meet up and make sure that uh, nobody's gonna get just blown up by reinforcements. And I... I'm not much of a Fire Emblem risk taker to begin with, and after everything went wrong in that last chapter, I'm like even less so. One of the other things that was missed in 5X, I spent quite a while dunking on Kyle, because... I mean, look at this dude, he's just like, the most generic character in the series, and his name is Kyle. Like, what am I supposed to do with that information? I just don't understand where I'm supposed to go with this guy's name being Kyle. No way that fighter can one-shot Seth. I don't want to sound like arrogant there, but there's just like... I would... my I, I don't even know what I would do at that point if uh, Seth got one-shot by the, a random fighter at this point. Granted, there was that Halberd fighter, but this guy doesn't have a Halberd. I should have, like... I should have damage-checked that Halberd fighter, but it was... Like, I... I should have item-checked in general, really. I guess this is what I should be saying. But uh, I noticed him after I noticed that one of the enemies had a javelin, which uh, was Loot's Demise. And then I started checking items, and I'm like, oh, oh no, there's a Halberd here. Because my original plan was just to charge Seth in and finish the chapter really quickly. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And yeah, it all just went down. Okay. Yep, there it is. Okay. That should be alright. Fingers crossed. By it should be alright, I mean I think Kyle may or may not die, but okay. This is fine. This is alright. I'm loving the fact that I specifically planned for those reinforcements and I'm still like caught off guard by them. That's uh that's just how well prepared I am for all of this. Alright. I'm just gonna kind of charge and meet in the middle. And then uh, I'll figure out what I want to do as far as a, as far as an actual like long-term game plan on this from there. I think this is alright. I, I feel like this chapter is going about as well as it can, because I've had this chapter just fall apart from the very beginning before. Like that, uh, I remember, I believe I was playing one time, and uh, that Myrmidon in this room just uh, absolutely blew somebody up like on turn two, and I was like, oh, okay. So that was a thing, I guess. But yeah, I think, uh, I was already kind of thinking that Ford would be my long-term Cav anyway, maybe alongside Franz, but, uh, considering Franz is not of this world anymore, 
Uh, I definitely think that uh, it's going to be Ford. I like Ford a lot more than Kyle, and I think uh, Kyle's probably the better of the two. But uh, I just like Ford more. That's just what it boils down to. Use a regular need. I don't remember if the, if there are more reinforcements beyond that, unfortunately. This is another chapter I probably should have looked up in advance. Like, I'm really kind of regretting not looking up uh, some reinforcements, but my rationale was that if it's a kind of a pseudo-blind run, I think it would be a little bit more fun. And by pseudo-blind, I mean I've seen this game on stream a few times recently, but I haven't played it in several years at this point. So, I felt like that would be a little bit more exciting. So, I'm kind of vaguely trying not to look a bunch of stuff up. But granted, that's leading to me just absolutely turtling, so, you know, how well is that going? When you get my graveyard, it's not going well at all, but, you know, I'm gonna be moving faster. This is gonna be like a really long episode. Do you have jabs? It's an harder to fight that guy. That seems like a good plan. Instead of having my, half of my army just standing around for half of this map. I know there's treasure up here, but is there like a door key? No. No, there is not. Love it. I want to say entering this room prompts more reinforcements as well, but I might be misremembering that. I said I wasn't going to split up, and then what am I doing? I'm splitting up. To be fair, I'm splitting up after, like, the initial danger has kind of subsided a little bit. I'll use a wall here, I guess. I'm very, very, uh... Just, I've been spamming those quite a bit. Which, I mean, isn't a big deal. Like, by the usually by the end game, I have, like, 50 vol unused volumes in my convoy. A dodge. If I learned one lesson from everything that went wrong in the last episode, I am not recording after 2.30 a.m. In, in the future. That was just not a good idea. And I can tell you exactly what, like, I, I, I think I kind of mentioned it in the last episode, but uh, something came up while I was planning to record the next episode. And I, it's just, like, it was legitimately, like, the last minute. Like, it was maybe an hour before I was going to start recording. And it just, it was, like, it was my entire day. And then I was like, okay, my next good day to record is Thursday, which happens to be the day I'm recording on right now, in fact. And, uh, oh, there's a talk conversation, okay. And so I was like, I don't want to go that long without releasing a video, so I, uh... Between uploading and editing and making the thumbnail and everything, I ended up staying up until like I think 7 a.m. that night, and I mean, I it just it wiped out my entire day the next day. Like I was just more exhausted than I've been in a while, and I the technical aspect suffered, my gameplay suffered, but I will say that the uh, feedback that I've gotten thus far about the last episode has been pretty positive. I think people kind of enjoyed the train wreck aspect of it, so like that's a plus, I guess. It was fun to record, I was just a mumbling mess by the end of it. I'm kind of nervous about unlocking that. I feel like Ross or Garcia would be okay there, but I'm also not like wanting to risk it. Man, I am turtling this so hard. 14 minutes in. I'm really hoping to get two chapters done in this one, but this might just be a one-chapter episode, because uh, this chapter's pretty long, and I'm not all that far into it. I should have kept Seth with the other group, but that's fine. The twins are reunited at last. 
Yes, that was another thing that I mentioned. I'm assuming that not many people watching this are unfamiliar with Fire Emblem. But if you are, this game has two protagonists, Erica, who I've been using thus far, and Ephraim, who I just got back. And after this chapter, there is a route split in which I can choose Erica or Ephraim to continue with for the middle portion of the game. And on this route, I th on this uh, particular playthrough that is, I think I'm going to go with Erica, and that is because I almost always go Ephraim route, and I remember it a lot more clearly than oh, finally got some magic. I remember it a lot more clearly than I do Erica route, so I thought it would just be more fun and a little bit more novel in general to go with Erica route this time. And that might mean the that might mean more mishaps where I completely misremember where any reinforcements are and people die. But the quote of the episode last time was "Death makes things more exciting," and that oh, absolutely is uh, that's my philosophy moving forward, I guess. I did have fun with it, like it was a fun episode. <sighs> oh jeez, okay. I'm going to risk Garcia, just because he's a little bit more expendable to me. There's only two- okay, there's only like one that can get to him. If Garcia dies to one enemy that he has a weapon triangle advantage over, then I definitely didn't need him anyway. I hope they don't all charge. Oh, they don't all charge. Awesome! Okay, that is that makes things substantially easier. Sweet. Let's get some 40 XP. I'm kind of vaguely wanting to Ford to get a little bit ahead. I would like to early promote him if I can. Not early early, but like within the next few chapters, because I did get that Knight's Crest last time. And having another promoted cav running around sounds really nice. Because Seth is doing a lot, but it would be nice to have somebody else to pick up the slack as well. And who's going to get this kill? You know what, I'm going to give it to Garcia. Eh, he only did 10 anyway, that's perfectly fine. And he gets hit for the 10. Awesome, love it. Well, great. <laughs> Just incredible. Okay, so if Garcia was fine, Ross should be fine as well. Famous last words, maybe? We'll see. I do enjoy this chapter, though. I, I kind of like chapters that feel like almost little mazes. I don't know if that's quite accurate to say, but like, where there are branching routes and just, you know, the lot going on in them. It, I think it makes it a lot, a lot more fun and interesting. As opposed to, like, an Awakening-style open map where nothing is happening. Sorry, Awakening fans. And Vanessa fans. If there are any Vanessa fans that are still going after the low-res art and all the dunking on Vanessa from last time, you guys are troopers. Just give yourselves a pat on the back, because I have been so unnecessarily mean to Vanessa on this run. And I only semi-regret it. Because it, it was, like... She didn't end up dying, but just the uh, just the act of making fun of her for like 20 minutes last time while everything was falling apart around me was indeed quite therapeutic. Like I I think that really helped me get through the chapter. So she, in a way, she was useful. It's funny because I know Vanessa is a very very good unit. She's like top tier in this game, but I think that's more for early flyer utility than for her combat. I hope, at least, because any time I've ever used Vanessa, it has not gone especially well, and that includes this run. Like, I gave her a few level ups, and her speed's good, that's about it. Please don't somehow kill Seth. I'm very paranoid about Seth dying. This run will absolutely fall apart if Seth dies. That is just... Oof. I don't, I don't want to think about the possibility, but... It's 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 definitely looming over me. Oh, Ford, really? That's like a ninety something, wasn't it? Jeez, whatever, dude. Nineteen minutes. I'm trying to kind of hurry because I want to get another chapter in, but I also uh, don't really want to go over an hour because I feel like like 
uh, I've been doing roughly 40 minute episodes, and those are already quite long, and I forgot to move half of my army, and that, that's... This is alright. This is going okay. All things considered. Add another point to the things I should have looked up. I should have looked up what's actually in those chests. He's doing really well in, in uh, strength. Speed kind of starting to be a little bit lacking, but all things considered, I'm really happy with this board. See, we didn't need Franz. Sorry, Franz. Every time I talk about Franz, I glance over to the graveyard and I see him with the saddest look and it just, it always depresses me. It's like, I am so sorry, dude. I really didn't mean to get you killed. Mm. He should be fine with two and I probably should have like actually calced it, but I didn't. You know what I might do, now that I've actually learned how to edit a little bit, which I did figure out after that episode, so go me. I might actually, like, cut some of this after I finish, like, killing all the enemies. I might, uh, cut the part where I just go through and look for the chests. Maybe? I'll see how it turns out, like, as I actually play it out. I mean, there's no way this random archer one-shots Gilliam with a longbow. That's just not gonna happen. But yeah, I, I'm just a little bit concerned about like how long I'm taking for this. And I feel like uh, it, the correct solution might be to cut out the part where I just kind of hunt for chests, because uh, that's not gonna be very interesting. But we'll see. We'll, I'm just gonna have to like play it by ear and see how the time is going. I don't know if Garcia is gonna be long term or not. I feel like Ross usually kind of ends up being either roughly comparable or better than Garcia in the long term if you use him. And I feel like my Ross is doing pretty well in general on, on top of that. So we'll see see what happens. I like Garcia, he's a cool character, and I wouldn't mind uh, doing like Garcia Gilliam support, because that just sounds rad. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just, like I did not plan anything out for my team at all. Oh awesome, stuff level up. Sweet. Seth is just crushing it, as Seth tends to do. Yeah, I had a uh, question from one of my non-Fire Emblem playing friends who watched uh, one of the earlier parts. And the... I Again, I wish I could pull it up, but it would take a while to uh, just browse through my phone to find it. But the question was something along the lines of, So that Seth dude's pretty OP, huh? And I was like, yep. He sure is. He is eh, pretty good. I wish that uh, Ross was getting a little bit more speed, but he's still he's like he's really outclassing Garcia in most areas. Oh man, that strength difference. What? Yeah, Ross is like, crushing it. Considering they're uh, they're at a similar level too. Like he's only one level ahead, and you can only get one stat per level up in most cases. So. Good luck catching up to that, Garcia. I love that my thief is across the entire map now. Just gonna keep sething it up. But yeah, I just had to laugh because, like, obviously most uh, most long-term Epi players know how good uh, Seth is, but it was just really funny that, like, that was one of the very first questions I got. Yep, that Seth dude, he is he is indeed quite good. Probably one of the best characters in the entire series. Like uh, Jagan is always a really useful tool to have. And you know, there's there's quite a bit of discourse in the community about it. You know, 
I think uh, a long time ago people used to say, oh no, Jagans are EXP thieves, they're just bad. And then I think at some point people realized, yeah, they take EXP, but they also make the early game tolerable, and that is, uh, that's a pretty good thing. And from that group, Seth just absolutely one of the best. We're just saying a lot, because it's a very good group to be in. Like, I will say this, I don't know that he's strictly as important as, like, an FE6 Marcus or something, where the early game is just, like, pulling teeth if you don't have him. I think Sacred Stones is easy enough to get through without him, but he scales so ridiculously well, and he's so good out of the box. It's like, you just... I don't think you can physically go wrong by using Seth. Like, I can't imagine not, like... I know I've mentioned in the past that I didn't initially use Seth, but like, at this point it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna use Seth. <laughs> and he's making this run uh, quite a bit easier as a result. I'm very anxious about these reinforcements, and I'm 26 minutes in, man. The more I, the uh, further I get into this chapter, the more I'm thinking I might just have to do a, a one chapter episode, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Go Ford. Ford is doing quite well. I very much wish that my Ford level ups were on camera, but they are not. Or rather, they were, but they were on a muted recording, which I have since deleted because it was awful. A competing thief. Ooh. I can steal his lockpick, can't I? <laughs> nice. I think this will be all right. I think I think we'll be fine. <sighs> Not in love with the idea of Ephraim taking out a mage. I think his res is that good. No, it's not awful for this game, but it's not great. I'll see if Erica can take on the mage. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be complaining about time, considering how much I'm, uh, turtling this just to, uh, no end, but... Ooh, I don't like that crit chance. Please don't have crit chance. Okay, you don't have crit chance on Ross. Yeah. This is alright. Even if Ross misses, he's not really in any danger. Nice. Speed is my one concern on Ross right now. His strength is just absurd at the moment. Oh, I can't steal? Oh, is my inventory full? No. Oh, uh, I don't remember the, uh, the stealing calculation in this game, but it might be based on speed, and my calm is not especially well-leveled at the moment, so that might be what, uh, what the issue is. Whoops. Well... Another lockpick would have been rad, but I guess it is what it is. I'm not going to fret about it. I don't recall this game having all of that many uh, chests in the long run. But I might be misremembering. There's no way that Seize was throwing boss moves. Granted, that is actually a thing in uh, Radiant Dawn. That's the one. It's a... Uh, I'm not risking that crit chance, no way. I want to weaken this guy for Erica, but I also... <sighs> okay, I guess Erica can get another kill later. Do I gamble the 1% <laughs> right? Okay, you know what? I remember Joshua's death quote, it's, so I guess my luck finally ran out. And if Joshua dies to a 1% crit, that is just, that is going to be the most poignant death quote of all time. Okay. He did get hit by the 50 though, that's kind of irritating. <laughs> I 
can tell you why I remember that death quote in particular. There was a run somewhat recently where uh, somebody did lose Joshua to a really, really unlucky crit. And, I mean, that death quote just immediately stood out. Like, it's so funny whenever he gets really bad luck. He's like, oh, so I guess my luck finally ran out. It's like, it sure did, bud. I'm liking the fact that there aren't any more reinforcements coming, that's handy. I don't want to burn through all of Ross's hatchet uses, because that's just a, a... It's just a shockingly useful weapon for, like, what it is, but... I also might burn through all of his hatchet uses. <laughs> and this jab. Whatever, it's fine. Gilliam has another jab, and he might end up handing it off to Seth, because I like a two-range Seth. I guess I'll give this to Arter. Arter's not doing especially well. Okay. His speed is still kind of miserable, though. Well, I was going to cut out the part with the chest, but at this point that's just not going to be all that long, so whatever. Probably going to end up killing this with uh, Ephraim. I'm assuming that this guy uses a lance. Yeah. Let's bring these people in. This chapter's actually gone really smoothly. I was kind of worried about it because I didn't remember where all the reinforcements were. But, uh, no, it's... It's kind of grooving along, just having a fun time. Um, I don't like that 66. What's your other weapon again? Jav. I'm just gonna enemy phase this. I guess it doesn't ultimately m matter that much how much EXP I give to Ephraim. If I recall correctly, the non-used Lord auto levels on the route that you don't take. Hmm, my men. Well, yeah, that was... Okay. Very impressive. Sorry, Torado. You were a very memorable villain. You are very memorable. Oh man! <laughs> now I'm second guessing if I should take Ephraim route because uh, that was a pretty good level up. Legion Whip. That'll be good for Tana. And we will seize. Nice and simple. Well, I'm at a very awkward point where it's uh. 30 minutes into recording, which is not that long, but also I don't know if I should go for another episode. Tana, join me! Oh, nice. 10,000 gold for doing absolutely nothing. Erica and Ephraim are part wage. What uh, will you accompany? I will go with Erica route. Yes. Um, I said I was going to rotate saves, but I guess I don't really have any reason to for now, because I don't I don't. I can't imagine there's anything that's going to make me lose the footage that I have for this chapter. I have checked numerous times. I'm not muted. It's the Tower of Alni, which I'm not going to. Yeah, I, I get it. I can grind. Um, I'm just looking at the time, and I'm like... You know what? I guess I'll go for another chapter, and if it ends up being an over over an hour, like whatever. It's kind of an arbitrary distinction anyway. Like, yeah, it's a little bit longer than I would have wanted. I don't know how many people are going to want to watch a video over an hour long, but it's fine. I just feel like uh, 30 minutes in one chapter is just kind of not that long. Awesome. Yes, Tana, the good flyer. I said I gave Vanessa a few levels. I gave her one. <laughs> Sorry, Vanessa and Vanessa fans. Okay. Um, I don't even know if anybody can use this over sword at this point. Probably not. That was from a uh, good old Orson, who, uh, if you don't know Sacred Stones. Betrays you to be with his wife. 
we'll leave it at that because it sounds a lot more uh, wholesome than it actually is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give Tana an angelic robe because she is very frail out of the gate. And I traded her silver sword instead. <laughs> she definitely can't use that. Okay. My buttons are going as well as they did uh, on the last episode, so that's great. I would very... Tana is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so... Just in case, I don't really have any... Again, I don't have any reason to rotate right now, but, like, it's just on my mind that something's going to go wrong and I'm going to need to go back to another save. I don't want to, because this is an Iron Man, but it is on my mind. Oh, I love this song so much, dude. Okay. okay. Yeah, Tana's not a great unit out of the gate, I will say. I probably should have bought some items again, but whatever, that's fine. Oh, this is a defeat enemy, or a route map, I mean. This is like my favorite song in the game, I think, or close. I'm just jamming to the music at this point. Actually, I guess I should have checked if that guy hit a jab, but whatever. I meant to bait with Tana, but this is fine. I kind of want to send Tana to get that house, but I also don't like the archers guarding it. I think I'm just gonna have to let that one go. I don't remember what's in it, and hopefully it's nothing relevant. Oh boy. We just love route maps with a ton of reinforcements. That's just awesome. I don't know if I should keep giving Ardor EXP or not, because at the moment he's my only source of magic damage, which is very nice to have. There are quite a few enemies with low res in this game, but I also uh, don't think he's turning out all that great. I'd also really like to give uh, Tawny EXP. I don't like the, the idea of turtling this, because I know the enemies are going to rush those houses, and I, I feel like I'm already like going too slowly to get them. Nice. I almost wonder if I should have grabbed the Nightcrest, because he's kind of getting close to a range where I'd be okay promoting him already. I prob I used to always go for t level 20 promotions, because it just, like, it bugged me if I didn't get all the stats I possibly could. But nowadays, I usually promote more around level 15. And I feel like that's kind of a better standard. Oh, this is a lot of reinforcements. Maybe I should have cut this after the last chapter. Well, too late now, I guess. I don't remember this map at all. Like... I think the like the very first run I did of this game, I went Erica route because it just it made more sense to me to uh, go with the route like of the character that you've been following up until that point. But uh, in subsequent runs, like Ephraim route just felt like it had a little bit more novelty to it because I hadn't done it before, and then I ended up just kind of liking it a little bit better. I felt like it had uh, just slightly more interesting maps. And uh, okay, I'm just going to start charging Seth in. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> I'll try to bait this dude with Seth. I think that should be fine. This might require a lot of editing. I feel like I've uh, done a lot of just like range checking. Oh right, your jab broke. <sighs> okay, that's Thankfully, there are no two range swords in this game, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't particularly know why Calm is here. I don't think he's going to be contributing anything to this cause. Yeah, that house is gone. There's just no way at this point. I went way too slowly at the beginning. I don't know if I should even... 
bother to check what was in it. Really? They're all like, are they all going for Seth? What? I mean, like, okay, if that's what you guys want to do, I guess you do you, but whatever. Yeah. You have to go really fast for those houses, dude. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, man. You know what I might do? I might cut this chapter in half, because I'm... Like, I'm, I keep uh, glancing at my recording time every few seconds and being like, this is gonna be a long episode and I don't love that. No, I'm not letting Tana die to that. So I might end up uh, just going through a little bit of the chapter and then stopping and then resuming after that. I feel like that might be just the best possible thing I could do. Because I just... I know that the distinction of an hour versus like 40 minutes is ultimately pretty arbitrary. Like, it's not really that significant of a difference in the long run. But it's also just not one that I really want to cross. I feel like there's just something a little bit more intimidating about seeing an hour long video. I really wish that uh, Tana didn't take so long to get going. Like, she's just not amazing out of the box. Ooh, that was a pretty bad miss. I actually really don't like that. Oh, no. I was really counting on that hitting. Well... Oh, no. I don't know if I can save forward unless I sack Tana. I guess I could hope for a 7% crit, but that doesn't... Okay, good. That was a good hit. Okay. <sighs> Tana. Man. Just... I don't like her lying on a 37. That def definitely doesn't sound like a fun time. My tiny pea brain is thinking, and it's not coming up with a lot. I wish that- I wish I had a dancer, that would be nice, because Erica needs to be one step further than she is. I can't take drop. <sighs> well, pick a god and pray. Of course. That might be a wrap for Ford. Maybe I'm worrying over nothing, but I feel like they're all just gonna swarm him. Well... Kyle, I was just kidding about all of those numerous insults I hurled at you in the last, ep in the last chapter. If Calm dies, I don't care that much. Oh no, not the villages! Okay, good dodge, good dodge, good dodge. This might be okay, this might be okay. I I might have just worried over nothing, but I felt like they were all just going to jump forward. Alright, yeah, that mage can't kill him. I think we're good, okay. Apparently I was just panicking over nothing. I'm telling you, I had built up so much confidence. Like, on the first episode, I was just shaking. Sorry, villagers. I know you can fly down there and get it, but I also don't want to risk Tana. And there probably is a way to Kanto out of that effect, like efficiently, to like not be in the archer's range. But I'm just oh, I don't like that either. Oh, Amelia's on this map. Hi, Amelia. I don't know if I can get you. If I recall correctly, she leaves after a few turns on this map, and you have to get her later if you miss her here, which. Sounds lovely, because, you know, Amelia's just known for being really over-leveled and amazing to use. I actually have a friend who said his favorite character is Amelia, and I kind of want to use her for his sake, because he's a really awesome guy. But, uh, I also just don't like the experience of using 
the trainee units aside from Ross in this game. Maybe Yuin if you just really power level him to summon her really quickly. But uh, in general, I've just never had a good time trying to use Amelia. Yeah, this is. I think this is definitely going to be a chapter that I cut in half, and it's probably going to be cut pretty soon, because I just, I'm just not liking the amount of time that I'm taking for this recording. But I also just didn't want to do a, uh, a half record or like a one episode part. And 30 minutes is a little short for like for like how long this game is. Doing 30 minutes parts would make this take like 10 years, so I really rather not do that. My initial hope was actually to do two episodes today, but it just didn't, didn't quite pan out. I just uh, had some chores to take care of, and by the time I ended up recording, it was a little bit too late to uh, reasonably do two parts. I think I'll do the next turn or two, and then I think I will uh, just uh, do a mid-battle save, and then pick up on the next half on the next one. I think it's just the best thing I can do. Oh man, getting kind of pressured here. I feel like I'm supposed to be rushing to get Amelia too, but I also don't really want to rush. I love this song so much. This is, this might be my favorite song in the game, or close. Sacred Stones has just an absolute banger of an OST. Like that's just an objective fact. And I'm sorry if you disagree with it, because I guess I shouldn't say objective fact if somebody ends up hating it, but you know. I need to visit these shops too. That might be... What I might do is, after this wave, I might cut it, and then do the shopping at the beat, like before recording next time, because I don't think that, I, uh, that a few turns of me just buying things from shops would be all that exciting. But that might be something to let me know, because it might be a few days before I get to record again. Yeah, I think definitely after like this wave of enemies will be a good t a good point to pause for now. Wasn't really what I had in mind. I was hoping to average two chapters per part, but the last chapter was pretty long, and this is kind of shaping up to be a long one too. These enemies are just murking me. Like they're just absolutely going for it. I don't remember. I didn't remember this chapter being this like excessive. I guess is the best way to put it. Like these dudes are just absolutely charging. This is weird for like a route map too. Like they're just spawning and running in. Ooh, I don't love that. I'm gonna have to be really careful about that. Just making sure nobody has any like effective weapons or anything that can. Uh, totally blow me up. This dude has me freaked out. This dude has me freaked out a little. Yeah, I, I don't want to risk that. Risking any percent crit is just never a fun time. Like, I don't think there's ever been a point where I've been like, yeah, risking crit sounds awesome. Because it usually ends poorly. And then there's just there's always going to be that really low percent crit that lands, and it just feels so bad. Okay, good. That would have been a little bit frustrating if it missed. I could just kind of run down here with Seth and take care of the problem before it becomes an issue. Like, look at that, 22% chance. I mean, I know that the crit wouldn't do that much on Seth, but... Like, I'm just thinking about how it would have gone for everybody else. I'm just going to set this. I don't like this on any level. And I feel like this removes a lot of the pressure. Because now I should just be able to kind of clean up really, uh, really easily. Well, I don't love using my own killing edge here, but... I also uh, would like to take care of most of these enemies. I feel like leaving one alive should be okay-ish. Yeah, even just getting it, even just taking care of this wave has taken quite a while. I definitely think that cutting this was the right call, or will be the right call when I do it. Alright. 
I'm feeling pretty good about this. Hopefully I didn't just, like, jinx myself, but, you know. <laughs> Calm is really contributing to this effort. He's just, just kind of running along with the group. Oh, yeah, there's his enemy. There's his enemy's behind me, too, as well. Ooh. None of the Lance users can get to Joshua, right? Right? Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Just a little bit of friendly anxiety to start my chapter with. This might be the turn I cut it on. I'm at 50 minutes right now, which is a decent length for an episode. I think that will, I think that it will automatically be my longest episode yet. It's gonna be fun whenever I totally forget that there are a bunch of pirates right behind me in like three days when I get to record again. That'll be so much fun. And then Mulder will die and I'll be without a healer and everything will just be amazing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it right here and I think uh, I will resume from the next part. I will probably end up doing the shopping on camera since I'm still kind of in the middle of a skirmish. And I don't wanna cut out any actual combat like anything I cut out is it has to be related or has to be on ooh, Speedwing? Yeah, I definitely need to get her. That's more useful than Amelia herself. But yeah, I, I think anything that I cut out, I want it to be really unrelated to the actual Iron Man, which is why I was ultimately kind of okay cutting 5X. And so I will end up at I will have to do the shopping uh, on stream. Oops. I keep saying stream. Okay, on camera. I might have to edit that because I keep making I've made that mistake like seven times now and it's apparently it's just a running thing with me but yeah I'm going to end the recording here and thank you again so much for anybody who's watched and any any watches subscribes like likes comments anything it's just so 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 appreciated like I just I wish that I could adequately explain just how grateful I am to anybody who has supported me because it has been just so much fun. I'm having a blast with this, and it just it means the world and more to me that anybody would want to watch this at all. So thank you again to everybody who's watched this far, and I will try to record the next episode in a few days, and hopefully it goes well. Hopefully I can at least get this chapter done and another chapter in, and yeah, I will catch you guys next time.